Hey, what's going on? This is Ned Luke coming at you from my man cave. That right there, you know me as Michael DeSanta from Grand Theft Auto V. Hey, I'm sitting down here. My boy, Money Glitch God, tells me that he's got the best YouTube channel ever. Well, here I am in my man cave now, stuck with a room full of that cunt. And I'll tell you what, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But you want to check it out and find out. <laughs> So this is how you do it. The best method of doing this is be a motorcycle club in an invite only session and make sure you have an oppressor inside of your terabyte if you don't. Now a lot of people haven't really done the terabyte missions and we're going to show you how to rob all the banks you didn't think you can rob in GTA Online. So the first thing we're going to do is robbery in progress. There's a bunch of different jobs you can do here. The first four have 30 minute cooldowns, but they pay out pretty well. And the other two have like a 10 minute cooldown. And it's best to do this with friends. So if you want to try this out and somebody has a terabyte motorcycle club, you can do this with a lot of friends. They make some good money. So steal the gold. So now it lets you hack. Hold on. It's got a little echo. Now this is cool because right now we're hacking the traffic lights and the traffic cameras. So now you see the first bank right there that we robbed in the fleece job. We're going to be able to rob other banks. We just have to use the traffic cameras that we've hacked like CCTV or something. Nope, nobody over there robbing it. I think that was the that was in front of the Pacific Standard Bank right there. So this is cool because sometimes you know it's in front of the Pack Standard. This is another Fleece Bank, and it's just showing you all the different banks and some of the jobs through this terabyte mission. You get up to like a really really well paying jewelry store heist. So here we are. Now we see what's going on. This is clearly where it's at. We can hit A to switch to the interior to see what's going on inside of there. So we have found the bank. Oh man. So we robbed the bank. They're robbing that bank and we have to go get the gold that they stole. So it gives you 30 minutes to do it. And since I have a terror or since I have a presser in here, it makes it super easy. And I'm in an invite only session. That helps too. So yeah, you can do this in an invite only session with a few friends. If you don't have any friends, time to make some. I don't have any friends in real life, so I don't blame you. I really don't even have any friends on here either. There's like temporary people that help me with glitches and stuff. But you know. My ISO game is getting nice. <laughs> My ISO game is like Kyrie Irving in real life. But yeah, here we go. So we're on our way, solo dolo, as usual. On our way over to the circle that we identified. And that's pretty cool. Um, some people drive the terabyte. One of my friends told me to take the terabyte over there. I was like, nah, man, just take the oppressor. And if you were with your motorcycle club, I am the, I'm a motorcycle club right now, but it's only me. But you can have up to seven people in your motorcycle club. And you can just go molly whop them real quick. Everybody gets some real money. Ah! And that's about it. So this goes pretty fast. I decided to show it to you in real time and chat with you for a minute read the description if you haven't if you haven't subscribed to the channel this is about the time to subscribe we're gonna be doing a lot of cool stuff in the casino together you can get in my lobbies I play with subscribers not just people who donate or whatever but here we go we're approaching the bank Sometimes they got like a juggernaut dude outside or something, so you gotta be careful. That's why I'm using the oppressor too. 
You know what I'm saying? We see what's going on. We got some bank robbers to take out. We cool. I'll take out the cops too. Fuck it. Where's that guy? They're hiding. Oh my god. Get the gold. Okay, I've got a client called Tans. As long as the cops are out of the picture, lose them and drop it off. What if I can lose the cops like this? Call Lester. Hey there. Remove the wanted level. Okay, my friend. I'll take care of the LSPD. Leave it to me. Okay, watch yourself. We're visible to the competition. Let's go. That was always awesome. So I don't know where we got to go with this. But we got to lose the cops. That's pretty easy enough on an oppressor. And that was easy money right there. This is a lot better than doing any of, you know, those other YouTubers, you know. <laughs> it's all good. But that was super easy. Super fast. And it's repeatable. Now, cool thing about this is, once this is completely over, you can do Headhunter, which pays pretty good in the cool down time if you're by yourself. Do a couple free roam missions. And it should go pretty good for yourselves. You can do this whole thing in under 10 minutes. Do the whole map, no matter which bank you're doing. Especially if you had one other friend or two other friends. Might work out pretty nice for some back-to-back -back grinding. And obviously there's things you can mix in there to maximize your money per hour, like cell missions. You guys can lag out a lobby, have a solo public lobby, do a bunch of cell missions, like sell you and your friends loads, giggity. But yeah, here we are. And this was how to rob any or how to rob banks you didn't know you could rob. I know all of you have ran into these banks before and was like, oh, I wish we could rob these. Well, you can. Jewelry stores, they start paying out more and more and more. And there you have it. Gold delivered, $31,500 not bad and you get RP a lot of these things you know what I'm saying don't really give much RP when it comes to money methods alright there we go so thank you guys you can go to your terabyte wait the cool down time rob another bank or disband the MC keep getting that money and casino hype everybody type hashtag casino hype in the comments below